Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Redshift 4 Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to assign P color or point color to a material. Now I've already got my scene set up here. You'll see that I've got some randomized spheres here with a randomized um, CD color. And we just need to assign a material to this before we're able to render. So what we'll do is go into uh, the matnet and I'm just going to create a material builder and assign that there. We'll dive in there and if we render now, we'll just reduce the specularity first. You'll see that our balls render at our gray, but we can't actually change them to be their individual colors. We can change this very easily though by using a user color data node. And we just need to run the out into the base properties under the diffuse color. Or you could assign this to anything that needs a color if you wish. So now if we render again, we still won't have it working. We need to change our attribute name to match the point color attribute, which is capital C, lowercase d. And if you restart your render, you'll see that the balls now render at the correct color. One thing worth noting though, is if you are doing an operation and you are trying to derive point color, you will need to make sure that your attribute class is points, not primitives, for example. Otherwise your render will not render correctly like so. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.